Hey guys, it's me, Nothing But Nobody, back here with Minecraft Let's Play World 1, so let's get started. As you see, I dug out that sand while I was gone for like one second, and I'm filling it up with wood. And finally, all this reckless sand at where the actual floor would be is going to be gone. I'm not worrying about that because that's going to be filled with stone pretty soon. Um, so with that right there, I'm not even going to place a light there yet because I don't know how I'm going to arrange it. Let's put one right there and one more door. Where is it at? There we go. And one right there. Okay. I like the look at that. That looks pretty cool. Just to see. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to have to get rid of that dirt over there at the ceiling too. Um, 21. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tell you about a book I read actually right now because I have nothing else to talk about. It's this book called Neverland and it's one of the most immense books I've ever read. So obviously it's like one of my new favorite books. Um, yes, I'm one of those type of people who likes the demented things in the world. Or no, I don't want to say that. I'm one of those people that's not afraid to embrace the, men the mental things in the world, I guess would be okay to call them. Yeah, let's just say that. Um, yeah, because, you know, what's the point of living life if you're not actually living it, you know? Might as well face reality that there might be something else out there. Just saying, just saying. Well, anyway, um, this book really freaked me out. Uh, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. It probably did scare me. I'm not gonna lie. It takes. It's. I'm one of those people who I'm not afraid to say it's easy to freak me out. It's very easy to freak me out, actually, to be completely honest. But it is not easy to actually scare me. See, there's a very different, a big difference between scaring and freaking me out. At least in my point of view. Um, and one of those is that one of them is easy to do and one of them's not, basically. But, um, yeah, this book really did scare me. And I don't know what it was. It started um, it started off about a boy who's, like, in a shack. And, first of all, I do recommend buying it, by the way. And if you don't want it to be spoiled, skip ahead to whoever knows one. But, um, it's about a boy. Oh, God, where did that go? Oh, God, I'm going to have to get rid of that. Um, it's about a boy. <laughs> How many times have I said that? Okay, this is the last time I swear I'm going to say it. it. was about a boy whose name is, I think it's Bo. It's spelled B-E-U-A, which I thought was Bua, but I guess it's Bo. But um, this boy, he goes away with his family during the summer to a place called Gauls Island. And it's actually a peninsula, but when it rains, it's like, you know, overshed with like water. And it was thought to be an island when first discovered, so they said, hey, just call it an island, you know basic philosophy if we think it's that it is that um but yeah oh wait yeah that was good all right and um he and his cousin which they're only like 10 or 9 which is what scares the crap out of me probably the fact that they're so young and they they're like subdued is it subdue a good word for that i don't know you'll see after i tell you subdued is such things um some turk knows about this little garden shed that's about a mile off from the house and it's he called it Neverland and turns out there's a whole tie to why it's called Neverland because they're actually start worshiping what's the devil but they don't know it's the devil they think it's like an extra god or another god and they don't mean to worship it in fact the main character doesn't even want to but he just goes along with the games because everyone's gonna think he's crazy if he just says you know hey he's worshiping the devil shouldn't we do something you know, um, oh, not sand, actually, let's put sand there, actually, make a little sand island of torches, one, two, three, four, and, um, basically, all these weird things start happening, now, the part that started freaking me out was when it said, um, it's talking about how it pour poured a horseshoe crab out of a crate he had in the shed, and supposedly Lucifer, you know, the devil, I guess that is, or Lucy, they call him, um, basically was the horseshoe crab, and that really freaked me out, thinking that the devil could be in anything, as we know. I'm not going to share my religious views, really, with you right now, but, yeah, that freaks me out, thinking about that. Um, and, oh god, what else was I going to say? It was something to... It was about why it freaked me out. Yes, the horseshoe clung to the boy's face, Sumter's face, because he was sacrificing himself. At least he thought he was sacrificing his, like, blood. And so after it did that, it tore off his sk skin when Bo tried to pour or pull off the horseshoe crab. And basically, two seconds later, it didn't happen. Now, I thought about this, and this I think this is really the real reason why this scared the crap out of me. 
um, it's a thought that maybe everything we see isn't really real. Maybe, like, how he saw the boy's face rip off from the horseshoe crab. Oh my god, this is kind of graphic. Maybe that wasn't real. What if it wasn't? I mean, you know, what if it was all crazy? Or what if that was real, but what happened after about him not seeing it was just a fake lie? Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, crazy person, let's stop watching him. Freak, 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 ban him all. Um, whatever. I don't care about that right now, because I'm on, I'll rant right now about this. But it's a thought, because my one, t one of my teachers, her name was... Actually, I shouldn't give her name. She was a good, let's just say she was one of my favorite English teachers. She went on about a ph philosophy about if all this religion wasn't right. Oh, you know, the big dispute of ha what happens when you die. Um, and they're all wrong, and there's a scientific version of how you die. She would think of it to be as this. That when you die, your mind splits into a different dimension. So everyone around you sees you as dead. But in your mind, you keep on living your life to an old age. And... It freaked me out thinking about that, too. These kind of things freak me out. Sorry. It's just a habit that happens to me. And, um, you know, and I thought that was quite weird because, like, we had talked about that day a couple weeks earlier, and then this up and happens with this book, and I'm like, whoa, you know? And it's just the fact that maybe everything you see isn't real. Just kind of freaked me out. Not gonna lie. Yeah. So, thought I'd share that with you to fill in some time. Let's put one right there and put a torch. Hmm, 640. At least for me, it's 640 right now. Hmm. Let's put one right there. That way it, like, builds up. And we have two more left, so let's put one right here. Hmm, something doesn't look right about that. That one looks okay, but that one doesn't for some reason. Let's put one right there, too. There we go, I like the look at that. Um, so I think our cave is pretty much good for now. Um, this may actually end Minecraft World 1 for now. I'd hate to say it, but it may actually end it. I mean, I've done a lot. I have. I really have. Maybe I'll start going exploring. Hmm. I mean, there's really nothing else to do. You know? Actually, I'll make a glass roof. No, I won't. No, I won't. Because that roof took forever to do. Um, I think I'll try to go find a cave and stuff and dig down next time. And it's not even been a 10 minute video yet, so this may be a short video. Let's look in here and put some stuff away. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I had coal. I didn't even have to go and get that wood. Which I think I used almost all of it up. Or did I use all of it up? Hold on, let me... No, I didn't. I have seven left. Ooh, big surprise. Wow. Seven wood. That's really going to help me. Um, cobblestone, gravel. I still don't need that earth. God, I'm like hip hiccuping right now. Okay. Well, anyway, I think I may end this short, and, uh, huh, I really don't know if I want to. Maybe I could talk to you about something else. Sorry, I was looking at a little notebook thing I had. I do write down topics now of what I should do. Oh, God. Let's see whether it's day out or not yet. And that took forever, and it is not day out yet. So, that is not worth it. Sorry. Just telling the truth. Um, I don't really don't feel like dying right now. Um, so I really do like this place. It looks pretty cool. Actually, how much wool do I have? Because maybe I could create a painting. Yes, I could. Let's create a painting. Let's put a little painting up. Um, now let me think about how you do this. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sticks. So I need one more pair of sticks. There we go. Actually, I only need one more stick, but oh well. Because, you know, just spiff up this place. Yes, I did just say spiff. What you gonna do about it? Yep. Yep, I'm cool like that. Um, after this, I think I might do some Let's Play Left for Dead. Let's see what it looks like. No, no, no. Sorry. I want to put it up there. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I hope it does a three wide. No, it did two wide. Three wide? No. Two wide? Oh, no, no, no. That is way too big. Um, hmm. Let's keep doing this. Yeah, I might do some Let's Play Left for Dead tonight. Actually, I might put it over here. Where do I want to put this? Let's put it in this other room, because this room has a big lake and lights and all that. Let's actually put it over here. Let's put it right on this wall right here. No, it was fine the other way. I want the creeper one. Just give me the creeper one. The creeper one was fine. I learned there's a way that you can actually make like personalized paintings. 
not like pick it, but eventually it will be in like the random objects, you know, that you come up with. I like that right there. There we go. That looks good. And I'll probably take these two out and add some water right there. Actually, let's... Yeah, I do like that. Cool. So, it's been like 11 minutes, so I'm going to quit here. Um, This has been nothing but a nobody. Don't forget to look at my blog, follow, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching.